Chapter 52 The Destruction of the Jaredites The Jaredites grew in number and became rich. They chose a king to be their leader. Many years passed, and the Jaredites became wicked. The Lord sent prophets to tell them to repent or they would be destroyed. The people did not listen to the prophets. They tried to kill them. There were wars and famines in the land. Many Jaredites died. The Lord sent another prophet named Ether. He preached from morning until evening, telling the Jaredites to believe in God and repent. Ether told the Jaredites that if they would believe in God, they would someday live with Heavenly Father in a better world. Ether told the Jaredites many important things, but they did not believe him. They made him leave the city. Ether hid in a cave during the day so he would not be killed. At night, he went out and saw what was happening to the Jaredites. He finished writing the history of the Jaredites while he was hiding. The Lord sent Ether to Coriantumr, who was a wicked Jaredite king. Ether told him to repent or he would live to see all his people killed. Coriantumr and his people did not repent. He tried to have Ether killed, but Ether ran and hid in the cave. The people were so wicked that the Lord cursed the land. They could not set their tools or swords down because by the next day the objects would be gone. All the Jaredites fought in the wars, including the women and children. Coriantumr led one army, and a man named Shiz led the other. Coriantumr and Shiz were both wicked men. The Holy Ghost had left the Jaredites because of their wickedness. Satan had full power over them. The Jaredites fought until Coriantumr and Shiz were the only ones left. When Shiz fainted from losing so much blood, Coriantumr cut off his head. Ether's prophecy had come true. Coriantumr was the last Jaredite alive. He was found by the people of Zarahemla. Ether finished writing the history of the Jaredites. They had been destroyed because of their wickedness. The Jaredite records were later found by the Nephites. <laughs>